Well, calls to defund police departments could impact recruiting classes, but IMPD is seeing more people interested in becoming officers. 41 recruits joined the academy just yesterday and more people attending a recruiting event today. CBS 4's Courtney Crown has more on why IMPD says this is encouraging on many levels. Good job, good job, push. I'm here to prepare for the academy. Kristen Galliano and around 40 other people showed up for IMPD's weekly pre-academy readiness or PAR event. Last week's numbers were definitely amazing. They had roughly about 62 people um, for their PAR session last time. Officers notice a rising number of people attending these events, from 5 to 30 people to consistently above 30 each week since the program restarted following Following COVID-19. It's amazing because just with everything that's going on in the world, they're still very interested and amped up to be police officers. Just up. Recruiter Babakar Juth describes these sessions along with the nine to 12 month journey of becoming a police officer as a vetting process. It is quite encouraging to see all these men and women behind me want to be part of this. Especially when many IMPD officers can retire. The Fraternal Order of Police reports four out of 10 are eligible now. FOP Chaplain Chris Holland talks with officers every day. A lot of your conversations today is trying to help officers see their way through not quitting or not retiring. IMPD reported in early June they did not see any sudden retirements since the May protests or the riots. From May 25th until July 13th, four IMPD officers resigned and three retired. That's an increase of one resignation and one retirement over that time frame last year. Having the perspective of those veteran officers is something the FOP says is needed. Their expertise and their wisdom and their knowledge of the job is so desperately needed by the young recruits that are coming in and the young officers that are coming in. Men and women like them interested in swearing in. This is something I've always wanted to do since about high school. On the east side, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. As of last month, IMPD had 1,600 sworn officers. That's down from 1,716 at the start of the year.